Okay, there is nothing worse <coughs> than you, um, you know, setting your patterns up. <coughs> you got your fabric all pinned down and you start to cut and, you know, your, your, your scissors aren't sharp. And next thing you know, you're kind of moaning through and, and, uh, you start to cut stuff incorrectly and of course you get frustrated so somehow or another you gotta you know get some sharp scissors uh, what I've done before is just drop everything and just go buy go down to the store and, and pick up some more you know cheap scissors um, but that can get expensive after a while. You know, they're $15 to $20 to $30 for, you know, a good pair of scissors. And, um, you know, there's a couple of things that I guess you can do. Is you can keep buying scissors if you're rich. But uh, for me, I'm not rich, so I have to figure out a way to sharpen these. So one way is to, uh, you know, have them uh, professionally done. And around here, they charge anywhere from five to fifteen dollars to have your, you know, scissors sharpened. Uh, but there's a couple other ways. Uh, I've seen if you go on YouTube, there's guys that file these with a file. But I found this thing. It's made by Smiths, and they advertise that it, uh, you know, sharpens scissors. So I was really curious about this, and it also does your kitchen knives, and I'll do another video on that one. But how it works is you, um, you know, stand it up like this, I believe, like this. And um, if you're right-handed, it says right-handed there. And what you do is you open your scissors and you, you know, stick it in there. And you push forward. Do I have that right? Yeah, that's right. This is, just, this is all you do. Now, if it's a little hard to do it this way, then you know, just go outwards if you want, if you feel more comfortable. But I find for me it works this way better. And it does a really good job. I mean, this is a uh, rayon, which is real flimsy to cut, you know. Of course, thicker, thicker stuff is really easy to cut, but you know, rayon is, that's tough. Um, if, you, if you're left-handed and you got left-handed scissors, all you do is, um, see what it says there, left hand, just turn it around, and I'm not left handed, but you do the same thing, you just, Anyway, um, you can get these just about anywhere. Uh, you can get them at Lowell's. You can get them at, uh, you know, Walmart. They range anywhere from, I've seen on eBay or on uh, Google. When I Google it up, you know, you can find them for anywhere from 7 bucks to 15 bucks. They're really great. So this is the scission por scissors portion of it. <clears throat> and then this is the knife sharpening portion of it. And I'll show you that on another video. One last comment I did want to make is that um, the Smith sharpener, uh, I don't know if you want to use them on your really expensive uh, scissors. Um, these ones here cost, I got them for a good price or use, but I got it for like 20 bucks. But I mean, you could probably even find them on eBay for 20 also, but unsharpened. But uh, I, I would say your expensive scissors, you probably want to have them professionally done. Um, these types of scissors uh, with the Smith sharpener, I mean, you can get away with using it. Um, 
typically you'll probably use these a lot more than than your expensive ones uh, but um, yeah these are some wise scissors and uh, I haven't professionally done that that runs about 18 bucks for me so uh, anyway it's up to you uh, anyway good luck